Hello and welcome to the video. Thank you so much for joining me. This is Passapa 2 2. I'm a huge fan of the first game. This is all about being a frog, doing paintings and seeing who will buy your paintings. So if you like the idea of sitting here with me whilst I scribble some random awful drawings that are very strange and talk to you, then this is the video for you. Like a strange froggy Bob Ross. Um, please do hit like and subscribe, leave me a comment, let me know which picture you liked best and enjoy the video. Have a beautiful day. I'm a depressed frog. Kitchenette. It's a mess. Fridge. Empty. <laughs> Look how good these gra- like this game has come so far. Look how good this looks. Switch channel. Television. Nice and toasty. Famous artist missing for days. Passpa 2 is pass part out. Famous studio for sale. Oi. I'm arting in here. Bloody hell. Another one for the fire. Hey, you! You're three months behind on rent. Pay. Um, do you accept lint? That's not money! Sorry, buddy. I've got a new tenant lined up. You're evicted. I'll have to take whatever you've got left to settle the debt. Let me give you a ride back to town. Look how cool my house was. I, like, live in a, a, at a lighthouse, like on a lighthouse island. But it's like a super cozy little house. That's really nice. Let me just have one last little sad look at my home, I suppose. Something about a museum of the masters. The rest of the text is hidden beneath stains and crinkles. All right, come on. Back to town then, Bobby. Here, yeah, Bobby. I wish I could let you stay. Ready to go? It's en français Friday. Look how beautiful this looks. So, for anyone who hasn't seen the first game, which was like a super like niche gem, honestly, of like arting. I feel like the first game was literally just this character, not even in this art style, was standing there and then you would paint stuff, right? This walking around is like a whole new world for this uh, this game. Bing yummy. Ah bon bon, passport tout est à you. Benjamin. Sacre. So you are that island guest of mystery. What happened? I am lost. <laughs> you look like you have problems. You deserve better if you ask me. I say as my grandfather used to say, when life gives you lemons, make lemonade. <laughs> I just got it. That was like in real time, you hearing the second that it took lemonade, lemonade. Uh, you're an artist, an artist fantastic. You can finish my painting, no? Maybe you'll recognize the tools. I found them at the flea market. But the tools are not creating any magic by themselves, as you can see. Oh! I thought I was about to smack him in the face. Uh, Mando, thank you so much for the two months resub. I appreciate it. So this is your artwork, is it? Benjamin? You've drawn a stick... I mean... Do you know what? I was going to lay into you there, Benjamin, but this is actually looks like something that I'm about to produce. 
during the course of this game, so I'm going to uh, be nice, nice to you, okay? But let's see what we can do, all right? So this is kind of how we course correct a little here, Benjamin. Now, you might be thinking, well, that's just turning my artwork into a canvas. You know, what's that about? But uh, trust me, trust me on this one. It's for the best, okay? And here we go. Getting back into my groove. Oh. Wonderful. The artist I remember is still there. Seems like the tools found their home. Keep them as well as the easel. Now you can draw just like the old times. Speaking of old times, how about you try selling the painting? I've got a table up on the shop, up by my shop you can use. I love how it feels claymation-y. Pinso, pinko, pinko? Pinko? What does that mean? Bon bon croissant. <laughs> this game's getting cancelled. Here's the table. Let us put up that piece of art. There we go. C'est bon. C'est bon. How exciting to see your art on display again. You know, this table's portable. If you want, you could buy it off me for 50. I guess you're not exactly rich right now. See me again when you're ready. Amazing. That was so cool. What an amazing effect for going inside a uh, shop. Does it do it for all of them? Ah, he thinks my painting is vibrant and wants to buy it for $13. I feel that it's worth more, to be honest with you. No, sir. I am the great Paspatou. You will offer me more. No. Let's see if anyone buys my lovely artwork. Who will buy my wonderful artwork? He's super cute. What's happening here? Hey, what you want? What's this building? This building here? Yeah, mate. It was our wicked hangout place. Since that dull old geezer showed interest in buying it, we kind of got banned. We ain't banned from hanging outside. Take that, man. Punks. Some people think we're like a big bad gang of hooligans or whatever. That banky fellow keeps bugging me about joining. Kind of annoying, isn't it? Just the person I need. These are dangerous waters. Danger? Have you heard of danger fish? Piranhas fear them. I just caught one right outside a port. They don't belong here. One bite can kill you. We need a warning sign before the landlubbers get hurt swimming. I knew I could trust you. Here's a sign you can use. I found it free diving in the Baltic Sea last winter. Leave it to Paspatu. I got you. Deadly piranha fish, you say? A warning sign. No problemo. Check this out. I love the way doing it moves the uh, the actual character as well. Wait, hang on. No, this is fine. Okay. Yes. Yes, wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Now you know how to signify danger, don't you, everyone? 
red stuff. That's too much. That's too much. That's too much. That's too much. Go over that. Oh, that's a different color. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. Orange base. Orange base. This is this is how you make the perfect warning sign. Are you ready to learn? Here we go. Too too little now. Too little. It's Goldilocks just right. There we go. First, you smear the blood of your enemies around the outside of the sign. It's like in 3D, look. And then... You need something that indicates the danger. In this case, it's piranhas, okay? So we draw, paint, art, the water. And the way that you get really good looking water is adding white to the waves. Everyone knows this. Everyone knows this in the art world. Okay. Perfect. Now, we need people to be able to see it from some distance away. So we must draw the piranha as a warning. Yeah. Fill his little piranha head in. They got a big open mouth. Monster Zinc. Big sharp teeth. Oh yeah. Beaming red eyes, warning. Danger, danger. Warning. Warning. There be piranhas. You're back. Here you go. Let me see what you got. Great work. This will scare him. I feel like just as we do stuff around the town, slowly this world is going to fill up with our artwork. Look how great it looks down there. Like we're just going to do everyone's signs and stuff. And then this is just going to be like your own, the world is your gallery or something. Okay, so now I can afford that table, I guess. For sale. Didn't expect to see a familiar face. Studio. Interested. I bought this from an artist some time ago. Made it my writer's den, but that's in the past now. I kept it true to itself. It's still suitable as a studio. 1499. Okay, need more monies. Some people say you have to choose just one thing. I say all the things. I'm gonna mix all of those together, just like that guy who does freestyles on TikTok and you say three words and then he puts them all into the same freestyle. That's me, but with art. Prepare thyself. Here we go. Dun -dun. I am Passepartout, the great artist. Back again. Yeah, what's that? You arting up Passepartout? Is that a P with a sleep hat on? I don't get out of here. Do not look at my work until it is done. Oh, 
Right, right. Here we go. Now, the secret to eyes is, if you've ever wondered, it's a very common, it's a very common thing that comes up. People say, I can't do eyes, okay? Quick solution for you. Round circle tool. Dink, dink. You then make the circle tool smaller and change it to a different color. Eyeball's done. Simple as that. Simple as that. Some people will say that they should be sort of in the in the same place. Looks like he has a lazy eye or he's got concussion or something. I say there's no wrong art, you know, so. Now, my preferred method of nostrils and noses is just that as well. So that's, you know, that gets that out of the way, gets that done. Nice and easy. This is how to art like morph. Now, let's go to the body. Like any good boxer, let's go to the body. Okay, so that's no, uh, there's no undo tool. So that's that's the other thing with art is there's no take backs. So you just have to go with it and go with it. We shall, all right? Now. <laughs> there we go. There we go. It's all right. It's all right. Now, the secret, when it starts to look a bit blobby, is to add what we like to call depth lines. Crinkles, if you will. There we go. Wonderful. He's got little buttons. Let's see, little buttons on his top there. Wonderful. Now, let's add that beard. I have to be very careful because there's no undo button. Mess it up and you're stuffed, baby. There we go. <laughs> Get a little mouth in. Oh no, I'm scared. Oh, no, it's fine. No fear. There you go. Wonderful, did it. First turn. First time. First time. Now he needs fingers. And uh, you might say, why just fingers? Why not hands to go with those fingers? And I say, why not? Now, what other word was there in that remix? I believe the other word was pancakes. And the fact is, is that he has pancakes for feet. He walks on crepes, okay? And has a little cat that lives on his shoulder. And it stays on his shoulder by wrapping its long tail around his neck. Some say the cat is the one that's controlling the man, and not the other way around, that it's the true owner, but nothing's been proven. Wonderful. Untitled, we shall call this piece Feet of Crap Mind Oh, that's right. Well, I ran out of space, so it's just Feet of Crap Feet, Feet Crappy Crappy Feet Cat Let's see if he'll buy this wonderful artwork, which is of him What say you? Ahem, new artwork on display, new artwork on display. Come on. What do you think? Come and have a look, sir. Come and have a look. 
Oh, he thinks it's a mirror. He doesn't realise it's artwork. Come on. Go over there. Steve. Eat an Anglo-French treat. I'm a culinarian, creating what simple people call food. <laughs> I call it culinary art. Soon people will understand and be absorbed by my flavoury fusion. Soon, very soon, this place will be well known and appreciated, just like the Museum of the Masters. It takes time to gain trust. I've been only open for three years. My first customer will come at any time. My concept is Anglo-French fusion. I mix ye old British kitchen bravely with la cuisine française. Et voilà. Exciting dishes emerged. Deep fried snails, haggis and crepes, chicken in ale. I swapped garlic with English curry. It's sensational. Come back when you're hungry. Look at my art, dude. I need money. <laughs> what the perfect day for a both bumming ham. You gonna look at my art or what, dude? Unnatural? It's you! <sighs> look, man. Whatever. Someone else will buy this. Punk. Hey, old man. You like some art? It's my latest piece. What do you reckon? Uninspired? <sighs> Listen, these old guys, you know. Ah, this kid's gonna love it. It's gonna knock your socks off, son. Come on, have a look. I want angry. Right, 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 right. Come on, then. Angry you want? Angry you shall get. You've made me angry, let me tell you. You're rejecting my art. Now you'll have some bloody anger, won't you, eh? Which you bloody well. From the depth, from the depths of hell. I am an angry artist. Worm. Thing. Oh dear. Um, an angry creature. Up from the depths. Okay. Flames, flames upon you. Here we go. Now people say, how do you do flames? And the secret is, squiggles. Colored squiggles. A Little bit of red, a little bit of orange. And the secret touch, a little bit of smoke. Okay, that's the secret. Now, anger. Angry eyes are triangles. Everyone knows this. Ah, is that Deadpool? Listen here, it's angry eyes, okay? artist. Don't forget the nostrils. And the secret to anger is eyebrows. I am angry. Right. Right, you little punk. You want anger? 
feast your eyes on this. Ugh. Oof, the horror. It's not for you. Go away, old man. Bloody hell. Come on. Roll up, roll up. Art, look at it. I have hair like punks. Oi, me, Banky, drummer, graffiti artist. Why are you asking? You the police, no comment. Banky like Ben store. Ben got all dope stuff. Spray cans and spray and cans and stuff. Banky love punks. Punk's coolest gang in Phoenix. One day I'd be enough cool to join punks. You walked right past it. I arted this for you. Why does no one love it? No, old man. Don't get to see it. I'll find someone who appreciates me. Mr. Fisherman, do you want to buy some art? I'm broke. I'd like to buy some new tools. How the colors move like the ocean. 22. It's yours. I'm a real artist now. Let's see how much extra tools are. My first sale. A bristle brush, a watercolour, and a pencil. What's a bristly brush like? 199! 249. 99 for a pencil. <clears throat> I've recently taken over the shop after my grandfather. Still learning the ropes. New shipments every now and then. Come visit. Au revoir! Amelie. La la doudou. I'm the queen. Uh, la da da da. Move. I'm the queen of the stairs. Only friends can pass. Grandpa made me the queen. He said not let anything pass. Mumbled something about a demo. Don't really understand. Right, I see. I see. It's the old demo line, is it? I love the way we go downstairs. The sign has seen better days. I remember the time when artists travelled wide, to, far and wide to Phoenix to capture its beauty. Something sometime changed. A shame, truly. I hope my grandchildren will see it reborn one day. Ah oh, well, yes, the Museum of the Masters is a place where only the greatest painters have their art. How am I supposed to make more monies? To unlock some tools. The only way is to keep making. Keep creating. Ah, the conveyor belt of art, of creation. Never stop, never lose momentum, or die, become irrelevant. No one will care anymore, that's clearly what happened to me already, isn't it, Passport 2? Off on the little island there. Bloody hell, this is terrible, isn't it? What are you doing? I'm experimenting! Okay. Never stop. Do 
do do do It's an NFT. Get some more colors in there. Here's the singing painter. He sings on the streets as he paints. He's killing two birds with one stone by busking whilst painting. He's made a grand total of 23 French monies. Is this Spider-Man? We don't really know. But it could be. Suddenly, there's a Spider-Boy swinging into the picture. He says, spoosh, spoosh, out of his little web, but he's kind of hidden in the picture. It's like an optical illusion, except for his eyes and his mouth and his crazy hair. He's like a punk who's quite old, a little bit like Rick Sanchez. He has no pupils in his eyes. And he's wearing a yellow backpack. I call this Spider on a Latisse. Let us see if anyone will buy it. Oh, they're rushing for it. Oh, he just walked straight. But tasteless? Where's the slap the taste out of your mouth button? Huh? Move on. It's so friendly. 31. It's yours, Benjamin. I knew you liked me. So you like friendly pieces, do you? I'll draw you the friendliest picture you've ever seen. What's friendly to you? What says friend? Nothing says friend like holding hands, doesn't it? And let me tell you, it doesn't matter if you're blue or purple, if you're tall or small, you still can hold... What's that? What's happening here? That's... Hang on. <laughs> That's not gone well. You got to... Right. Doesn't matter if you've got a long neck. Doesn't matter if your arms come out of your tummy. Friendship is a wonderful thing. Doesn't matter if your eyes are big or small. Doesn't matter if your nostrils are like holes or if you actually have a nose. It doesn't matter if your mouth is like this or like that. Let your spindly fingers entwine. And your heart will grow. There we go. And it will heal your eyeballs. Look at each other, look at that. Get you someone that looks at you, who they look at each other like that. Oh, bloody, it didn't. Right, right, that's, what's that? That's, uh, he has a flea circus, and, uh, that's one of them just joining in there, jumping off of his shoulder, it's fine. The friendly flea! Let's see who buys it. Tasteless. What does this man want from me?
Benjamin, you like friendly stuff, right? Come and have a look at this, mate. Come and have a butcher's. Come on, son. Come on, son. Come on. Come on. God, that fountain looks refreshing. I want to dive into it. Bloody roasting here. Come on, Benjamin. I haven't got all day. Hello. Ah, bien, bien. 50. Look at that. I knew he'd like it. Right. We've got to work out. I want to work out what kind of style this guy likes. He likes food and stuff, right? Yeah, get a load of this. Table. Fruit bowl. Giant apple. Giant cherry. It's fine. It's a tomato now. I don't know what it is, all right? But it's a fruit of nondescript species. I know what he'll like. Banana. There we go. It's been peeled. A pre-peeled banana. And... A plum. And... An orange fell onto the floor. Oh dear. And it started to bleed. It's a blood orange. The bloody orange! Check me out! I mean, sure, you can have it if you want. Man, this guy's not my biggest fan. I feel like you'd buy anything, Benjamin. And I'm about to put that to the test. I call this piece... Feelings. Zzz. Zzz. A proper meal uses many ingredients. Listen, Steve. Piss off, yeah? Come on, Benjamin. It's my latest, my latest work. What do you reckon, bud? I want to see love when I see a painting. Right, okay. Well, I thought you were just a simp, but I guess not. Love it is. You know, love, it's all around us. But sometimes, it's hiding. It's not in plain sight. Sometimes if you look too hard, it becomes like the thing when you're looking for the thing. And you don't see the thing, you know? But it's there. Hiding. In plain sight. There it is. Perfect heart. Perfect heart. There, yep. Wonderful. Definitely didn't mess that up. Wonderful shape, that is. Sorry, I usually love your work. Listen, Benjamin. Mate, if you don't have anything nice to say... Shut up! And... It's a... If a heart was a person, it would look like this and be scared. Opening its arms for a big hug and saying, Come here into my blobby hands of love. Of love. I've got blobs for hands. Why are you just continuously pooping on my work back there? Like, you've seen it once. Move on. Of love, of love, if love was a little person, 
It looked like this, probably with a different color eye. I didn't realize that was so brown. There we go. And he'd be all crazy eyed because he goo goo gaga. There we go. His eyes say, oh, googly, I'm in love. And you know, love needs to breathe, needs nostrils. Sure does. And its lips are pursed because it doesn't really know how to express itself sometimes, but boy, does it need to. You know? And love's got a really big brain and a big head. Sometimes there's a lot of ego involved in love. But what you need to do is add a little bit of hair to that. You can decide why. If you don't know, you'll never know. You know? And there you go. That's the story of the hairy heart. <laughs> God. Oh, the heat has uh, cooked me, I think. I don't know. It could just be any time I have free reign with art in games. We, we don't know. We don't know. We don't need to discuss it. It's fine. Let's see if anyone buys it. Try something more natural. Steve, uh, your, your buddy die natural causes in the night in a minute, mate. Go on. Off you pop. Come on, Benjamin. I painted this for you. Better bloody like it. Fresh like a morning baguette. Well, if that isn't the top compliment a Frenchman could ever give you, and 133 <laughs> dollaroos for it. I feel like we should be able to afford a new tool now. The bristle brush. Nice. A new... Ah, yes! Dude, it's so satisfying in the first game when you start unlocking all the tools. I can't remember if you had to unlock them or if you just had them, but there was like so many cool ones. Get a bit more creative than just that one brush there. I need to work out what this guy wants. He was saying, like, lots of ingredients, right? So I'm feeling, like, all colours and stuff. Like, a lot going on. But then he said natural, so... I don't know. We shall see. this untitled right up your alley 60 I kind of wanted Steve to see it Benjamin but uh, right. okay enjoy bloody hell <laughs> all right give me some inspiration what Shall I art up here? Colors, a canvas of colors. Yes. Yes. Won't you shake my head? A poo. Steve, a waterfall of poo. A waterfall for Steve. Here we go. Up the 
the mountain. There is a place where you can see the finest waterfall in all of Iceland. I call it the Cotton Ball Waterfall. It also looks like the hair of a grandma. Like she's got some sort of weird hairline up in the clouds and then water, water, water waterfall waterfall water fool water what happened to this little water? he fell it's true. And he can't get up. Because he's dead. Like that. He went to split splat on the ground. From the waterfall. And when he did, he pooped a little bit. Water fool. What do you think, Benjamin? 99, what a lovable painting. Sold. Oui, oui, bon, bon, papa. Let's see. Can I buy watercolor yet? Oh my god, I'm one dollar away. Benjamin, you did that on purpose. I'm one dollar away from buying watercolor. Bloody hell. Uh, thanks for the biddies. Thanks for uploading part four of the quarry. You are very welcome. No. Glad you're enjoying it. I had a great time with that one. No. I call this piece... Something. It's as yet unnamed, but it will be called something. And there on the ocean... Is a ship. It's a big ship it's up here. And on that ship, as all ships do, it has a has a mast. Oh dear, that shouldn't have changed the there we go. Sails of white. At the front of the ship, sitting on the edge there, dangling his little feet. Oh, wrong colour. Bloody hell. Bloody hell! I thought that was black. I think it's changing color with the pink, turning it into brown. And there it is. Oh dear. Oh, oh dear. Oops. Oopsie. Oh god. Right. There. Oh, no. Oh god. Oh dear. It's fine. We can save it. We can save it. There's a little Morphe Sparrow there. With his bloody crossbones. Right. Looks like a sweet or a candy, you might say. It's fine, it's a skull and bloody bones. Don't worry about it. Ah, the water do splash, though. The water do splash. 
traveling fast in his ship. Splash, splash. Ruined it, ruined it, but it's fine. Just keep going. A masterpiece indeed. Ah, thank you, thank you. Sold for 100 bits. Should these be shark infested waters? Be careful. Be careful, little Morphy Sparrow. They swim. They circle. They, they surface. Oh dear. There we go. But it's a friendly one. Ah, isn't that nice? He says hello. He waves his little fin. Oh dear, that's the wrong colour. Waves his little waves his little fin there. Oh, it's the wrong brush. It's he waves his little fin. You get the idea. And in the sky is a big old moon. Beaming down its moony moonness. And from here you can see the man in the moon. He's not very happy. It's called R Art. There we go. Right. I'm gonna try and sell this to someone else because you, you you might be undersell you might be undercutting or something, Benjamin. All right. I see what this old man likes. He might be rich. Just what you've been looking for, 87. I'm gonna shop around a little bit, all right? Let me. I'll find who's got the money around here, you know? Come on, old man. Too bold for your taste, huh? Okay. Let's see what the child thinks. I drew you a picture earlier and you never looked at it, but it's fine. You want to sort of stand there and maybe look at this one, maybe? Banky want more cool. What's cooler than a bear pirate? Click one of those videos on the screen to go on another adventure with me right now, and I will see you in the next video. Thank you.